Und heute werden keine Videodrehs mehr gemacht, damit sind wir durch. Der Film ist im Kasten. Ähm, heute findet ein Meet and Greet hier statt. Es kommen ein paar Leute vorbei, die sich die Autos nochmal anschauen können. Und ja, danach geht es auch schon nach Hause. Leider. Super schwuli. Super schwuli. Do you want me to say something? Yes. About what? About these days. Life? <laughs> no. You want the meaning of life? Um, so yeah, we wrapped up here on uh, Driftenberg, or the return to Driftenberg, the second in the installment, or the second installment in the series. Uh, been an awesome four days out here in Fichtenberg, in Germany. Uh, a lot of filming, lots been going on. Obviously great to have Marika here with the Pandem R35. Made a cameo, it's gonna be in the opening scene of the video. And then she reappears throughout the video. So it's great to have her and her team on board. The guys have been so helpful. Such a pleasure to work with. It's been a uh, long four days. Uh, we've had a few long, long shoot days, uh, late nights, a lot going on, a lot of time schedules to keep to, but I think we've got it all. All the footage in the can looks awesome and I can't thank everyone enough that's helped out and been involved so yeah been awesome. Uh, we built the car originally in 2017 and uh, it was built for a video project we did with Monster Energy called Battle Drift 2. Um, we got asked to be a part of the video and we also got told that Daigo Saito was going to be the other driver in the uh, in the video and he was driving at that time a Lamborghini uh, drift car so we wanted to kind of come up with something that would be you know something pretty special um, something we would be you know really proud and excited to have um, and after a lot of you know a lot of consideration we decided to try and build a GTR um, it was one of those kind of dream ideas that I had and I was never really sure we could actually pull it off um, but we got very lucky and uh, you know, we managed to secure uh, a Nissan GTR that we could turn into a into a drift car. I mean, the original plan wasn't to you know change the engine um, from the VR that was in it originally. Um, the original plan was to build a thousand horsepower, but we couldn't do it with the engine that comes with the GTR simply because the parts weren't available. We couldn't get the pistons and the rods and the crank. The you know the rotating assembly just wasn't available from the manufacturers that make uh, the parts to make a thousand horsepower with that engine. So we decided to go down the road we know quite well, which is put a V8 in it, um, put you know put a turbo on it, and make some crazy horsepower. So um, as soon as we started working on the idea, we were very lucky that some really cool brands that you know we wanted to get involved with the project were really open to working with us and. Um, coming up with this crazy car so uh, yeah we fully stripped it um, seam welded the whole car put a you know a really nice roll cage in it the dash is also carbon fiber so we got that from Japan 
Um, the doors are carbon fiber, the bonnet's carbon fiber. The body kit at the moment is a Type 2 Liberty Walk, um, yeah, Liberty Walk GTR body kit. Uh, we're running rotiform wheels, wheelwood brakes. It's got a, it's got a Quaif, uh 69G sequential gearbox in the car. Um, and we're running a Link ECU, an electronics package. So uh, we're very lucky to have some really cool brands that helped us build the car. All the safety is done by Sparco. And uh, yeah, it's, uh, it's been really cool. We've been really, really lucky with the car. We've been very successful when we built it. We had a few little teething problems, but after that, in, you know, for the last two years, it's, it's been very, very good to us. Das Meter Grid ist jetzt rum. Wir fahren jetzt langsam wieder Richtung Heimat. Ich glaube, so ungefähr fünf Stunden brauchen wir bis nach Düsseldorf. Und äh, ja, ich bin, ich habe einen richtigen Muskelkater von, von, von den Drehtagen. Ich hätte nicht gedacht, dass das so anstrengend wird. Und ja, ich würde sagen, wir satteln uns jetzt mal auf und düsen heim.